There was a quote that said, good things come to those who pray, better things come to those who are patient, and the best things come to those who are persistent. And no one has failed who keeps trying and keeps praying. Pray means faith, pray means belief. Prayer changes everything. Prayer is the world's greatest wireless connection. It is the connection between you and God. So first thing I want to tell you that bad things will happen in your life. Negative situation will come, business will fail, challenge will come, a storm will come and it will hurt you the most. It will break you physically and mentally and in that situation you may feel like complaining and blaming God. You will feel like giving up and quit because right now you are in this storm and you are down on your knees and you are feeling like this is the end. You are just one step away to give up. But I want to encourage you to keep going. What you can do right now is that pray and believe and keep going. If your business is failing, pray. If you're going through hard times, pray. If you're fighting through a deadly disease, pray. If you're feeling hopeless, pray. If you're going through depression, pray. Pray because God answers pray. If you don't believe in prayer and think that prayer doesn't work, God doesn't listen our prayers, then I'm going to tell you a story on the power of prayer. And it's going to make you believe that prayer works. And God listens to our prayer and He answers every prayer. And it's going to show you that how powerful prayer is. So there was a very famous doctor and his name was Dr. Stephen. One day he was going for a medical conference where he was to be given an award for his medical research that he had done recently. Dr. Stephen was so excited and happy and wanted to reach at the conference as soon as possible. So he took a flight and enjoying his journey. But suddenly an hour after the flight took off, the pilot made an announcement that there was a problem in the flight engine and they were going to make an emergency landing at nearest airport. Dr. Stephen became angry and started blaming God that why God, why you always do this to me? Dr. Stephen got afraid that because of this, he would not be able to reach at conference at time. So he went to the help desk and asked about immediate next flight to his destination. The women at help desk told him that there is no flight for next 10 hours. But she suggested him that, that he can rent a car and drive down to city as it was only three hours away. Having no other choice, he agreed to idea and rented a car and started his journey. As he left in car, the weather suddenly changed and a heavy storm began. A heavy rain made it really difficult for him to see, and he missed a turn he was supposed to take. After two hours of driving, he knew he was lost. Driving in a heavy rain and deserted road made Dr. Phil tired and hungry. He got irritated and lost her temper, and kept complaining to the driver and guard. Frantically, he began to look for any sign of civilization. After some time, he came across a tattered house. Desperate, he got out of his car and knocked on door. An old woman opened the door. Doctor explained his situation to her and asked her if he could use a telephone to make a call. The woman told him that there was no electricity nor did she have any phone, but welcomed him to her house for some food and warm drink. Hungry and exhausted, doctor accepted her kind offer and walked in. Women gave him some food and hot tea and then excused herself to finish her prayer. Sitting on table sipping his tea, doctor watched women in the dim light of candles as she prayed next to what appeared to be a small baby crib. Every time she finished a prayer, she would start another one. The doctor saw this and thought that she might need help. Soon the doctor seized the opportunity to speak to her. As soon as he finished her prayer, he asked her if there was something he could help her with. Women smiled and said God has answered all her prayers except one. He said she didn't know why God had not answered this specific prayer yet. But perhaps it was because of her weak faith. Doctor said, if you don't mind telling what you pray for. Women replied, this child in crave is my grandson. He has a very rare type of cancer. And all doctors who have seen him were unable to treat him. I had been told that there was a doctor who specialized in this type of cancer. But it was so expensive to reach that doctor. And I am not rich. And there is no way for me to get this doctor as he lived very far. She told him that because she can't reach that doctor, she has been spending her days and night praying to God to help her, find a way to get to Dr. Stephen, 
the doctor who could treat her grandson. Hearing her words, the doctor became so emotional and happy, and he was feeling a satisfaction deep inside. Tears began to flow down the doctor's cheeks, and he said, God is great. There was a problem in the engine, a thunderstorm hit, and I lost my way. And all of this happened because God did not just answer your prayer by helping you find a way to get to Dr. Stephen, but he brought Dr. Stephen to your house. I am Dr. Stephen, and I will cure your grandson. Tears are streaming down our cheeks. So what you can learn from this story is, if we pray with faith and belief, God will answer our prayer. Believe it. If you pray, nothing is impossible. Now the doctor believed that everything happens for a reason, and that reason is ultimately good. God has always a plan for us. Just two hours ago, the doctor was blaming the God about everything happened to him. But now he was happy and thanked God for that problem in engine, for that rain and a storm. If the engine didn't have that problem, I would not be here today. If that storm had not come, I would not be here today. Similarly, at the beginning of every adversity, we all blame God. But at the end, we thank Him for everything He did to us. So never ever doubt power of prayer. When I pray, I see things happen. When I don't, then I don't see things happen. It's simple. If we don't pray, then miracles won't happen. Don't allow what's in front of you to cause you to doubt what God can do. We can only see what our eyes allows us to see. But God sees the bigger picture. God said challenges will come. There will be adversities and things we don't understand. But God said, I will be with you in the fire, in the flood, in the storm. So keep praying. You will receive everything you want. You will achieve everything you want. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel and, and share this video as soon as much as possible with your friends, family, anyone you think that can help them.